What if you could be the master of your own destiny? Tweaking your habits and mindset like a scientist in a lab. The greatest innovators and achievers have always been experimenters, constantly testing and refining their approach. Are you ready to join their ranks and unlock the secrets of self-improvement? Why you need to take control of your life? You're not a victim of circumstance. You're a product of your own choices. Most people drift through life, waiting for someone or something to come along and change their circumstances. But the truth is, no one is coming to save you. The only person who can take control of your life is you. The reason you feel stuck, frustrated, and demotivated is because you're not taking ownership of your decisions, habits, and actions. It's time to stop blaming the world and start taking responsibility for your own life. By taking control, you'll unlock a sense of purpose, direction, and motivation that's been missing from your life. The power of micro-experiments. Micro-experiments are the secret to rapid self-improvement. By conducting small, low-stakes experiments, you can test new ideas and habits without committing to a complete overhaul of your life. This approach allows you to learn quickly, adapt fast, and build momentum. Micro experiments are not about making drastic changes, but about iterating towards success. They're about testing, refining, and iterating until you find what works for you. And the best part, micro experiments are low risk so you can afford to fail. In fact, failure is not only an option, but a necessary step in the learning process. So, what are you waiting for? Get ready to unleash your potential, one micro experiment at a time. Designing your first experiment. Now that you understand the concept of micro experiments, it's time to design your first one. The key is to keep it simple and focused. Identify a specific area of your life where you'd like to see improvement, such as productivity, energy levels, or mental clarity. Ask yourself, what's one variable I can change to impact this area? It could be as simple as waking up 30 minutes earlier, taking a daily cold shower, or replacing sugar with a healthier alternative. Write down your hypothesis. What do you expect to happen when you make this change? What benefits do you hope to gain? Remember, the goal is not to overhaul your entire life, but to make a small, significant change that can lead to lasting results. Choosing your first variable. Now that you've decided on an area of your life you want to experiment with, it's time to choose your first variable. A variable is a specific aspect of your life that you want to test and measure. For example, if you want to improve your physical health, your variable could be the number of daily push-ups the amount of sleep you get, or the type of food you eat. The key is to choose a variable that's easy to measure and track, so you can see the results of your experiment. Remember, the goal is to start small and focus on one thing at a time. So, what's the one thing you want to change or improve in your life? That's where you'll start running and refining your experiment. You've designed your experiment now it's time to put it into action. The key is to be consistent and committed. Stick to your plan and don't get discouraged by minor setbacks. As you run your experiment, pay attention to the data and feedback you're getting. Refine your approach based on what's working and what's not. Ask yourself, what's the smallest change I can make to improve my results? Make those adjustments and then rerun your experiment. This process of refinement is crucial to getting the most out of your micro-experiment. Remember, the goal is to learn and adapt, not to achieve perfection. Scaling up from micro to macro. Now that you've successfully run your first micro-experiment, it's time to scale up. But before you do, remember that scaling up isn't just about increasing the size of your experiment. It's about increasing the complexity and stakes. You need to be careful not to sacrifice the precision and control that make your micro experiments successful. Here are some tips to keep in mind. Start by adding one or two new variables at a time and make sure you're still measuring the right outcomes. Don't be afraid to pivot or adjust your experiment as you go. And most importantly, keep your eyes on the prize.
Remember what you're trying to achieve with your experiment, and don't get distracted by irrelevant data. Common mistakes to avoid when it comes to self-experimentation. It's easy to get excited and dive in head first, but without a clear understanding of what to avoid, you can end up wasting time and energy. Here are some common mistakes to steer clear of. Don't be too ambitious. Start small and focus on one variable at a time. Don't be too attached. Be willing to pivot or adjust your experiment if it's not yielding the desired results. Don't ignore your data. Collect and analyze your data objectively. Don't cherry pick what you want to see. Don't get discouraged. Self-experimentation is about learning and iterating, not about succeeding or failing. By avoiding these common mistakes, you'll be able to get the most out of your micro-experiments and accelerate your self-improvement journey. Real-life examples of successful experiments. So, you might be wondering, does this micro-experiment thing actually work? Let me tell you, it's been used by some of the most successful people in history. From Elon Musk's 100-hour work weeks to David Beckham's rigorous training regimens, micro-experiments have been the secret sauce to their success. Take Tim Ferriss, for example. He used micro-experiments to optimize his workout routine and ended up increasing his strength by 30% in just seven days. Or look at Pat Flynn who used micro-experiments to increase his online income by 50% in just a week. These are just a few examples of how micro-experiments can be used to achieve rapid results. By applying these same principles, you can unlock your full potential and achieve success in any area of your life. Conclusion Unlocking your full potential You've made it to the end of this 7-day self-experiment journey. By now, you should have a solid understanding of how to design, run, and refine your own micro-experiments. Remember, the key to unlocking your full potential is to keep experimenting, keep testing, and keep pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to try new things, to take risks, and to fail. Because in the end, it's not about the failures, it's about the lessons learned and the progress made. So. Keep pushing forward and never stop experimenting. The true potential of your life is waiting to be unleashed.